boy America what up not not trying to be out too late or too long but depending on how this week goes this could be my last video up in, until I until I until I get settled back in and for the New Year's or if to, for the New Year's and if this, and I mean if that's only if this week goes well if this week goes well I'll do one more hopefully one more YouTube video and get it uploaded before I'm before I leave for that whole for that whole month and up until next year so without further ado <clears throat> I just happened to run across this like a month or two ago this 1912 penny that I'm gonna review here's how I found it at my job at my work we were um, exchanging stuff and moving stuff around, and I actually found this in the in the desk in the new desk of my of of what that was put in my office. I was getting a new desk; it got put in my office. I was cleaning it out, and looky looky here, knowing that I'm uh knowing that I'm doing the knowing that I just collect coins and stuff. I happened to run in, I happened to run across a 1912 penny found in the found it in my new desk of a used of my new used desk for my office took it out took it home and here we are and yeah pretty much everything was junk except this here a hundred and sixteen year old coin a 1912 penny I believe this year is also famous for the 1912 British penny British one cent penny but here it is in all its glory I'm doing a review of the 1912 wheat penny you can see a lot of wear right there because of the age I believe and the total produced this is a Philadelphia milk mint the total produced of them was a uh, 68,000 uh, no 68 million 153,000 and the numistic values between five to hundred fifteen thousand dollars I believe a VF 35 sold for forty six dollars at auction yeah this a coin like this probably values five MS up condition can be value up to hundred and fifteen dollars <clears throat> and let's see slightly let me talk to y'all for a minute um, a slightly lower mintage from 1911 I believe it's a slightly lower mintage from 1911 because 1911 that was the first I believe that was the first year Denver started minting these so that's a year into the 1911 Error, and I believe this is the end of the Edwardian era, era and the beginning of the Titanic era. And I believe, and after this video, it's not coming up, but I have a Victorian to do, but this is just not the day to do it. The worn pieces and the die er erosions is the uh, Philadelphia, the PCGS MS767 Red can actually sold at auction for $8,812.15 eight $8, um, a year ago and the second year issue for the Denver Mint and improved slice quality is uh, is again what I had to say about this coin and the Liberty Liberty the Liberty letter inflation is a lower grade and that the, the lowest you can act in that for that lowest grade you can get at least between five and fifteen dollars the red level you can get between eight hundred eight hundred fifty I believe uh, six hundred and fifty to eight hundred and five dollars for the for the red level let let for the red color and MS 66 kit actually sold around seventeen thousand dollars I don't remember the, what year that was as far as that goes <clears throat> okay now let's see the back yep this this coin probably seen better days but I, I believe there are worse than this but I can say I'll take it okay and uh, let's see through the 1912 Lincoln Penny might 
look a look like a modern single cent coin in circulation in the United States there are suitable differences that makes it a bit more valuable than the penny underneath your couch one more coin is more than a hundred years old <coughs> inherently coins this old are s some interest to collectors What's more, the design of the coin is a bit different and no longer produced is also of some interesting to collectors. As far as the design is concerned, you will find that the coin's obverse is none too different from modern penny. From the modern penny. The center of the obverse is don't domin dominated by the profile of Abraham Lincoln. Almost like an oil spill. I don't know. Whatever you want to, whatever, whatever it is called. Above Lincoln's head are the words "In God We Trust." I believe this is what we were talking about here. To either side of the former president's image is raised inspection, which reads "Liberty." Oh yeah, this is also a, a to look at right here. And you gotta apologize, man. This camera seen better, better. Yeah, it won't even. Oh my goodness, man. This is stupid. Also, in the 1912 date. So. This is where the, the obverse is more dominant. In God we trust the word liberty. I, don't, I think the liberty's worn out. Dude, I wish this camera didn't do such shit like this. Oh boy, this is stupid, man. Hold up. Obviously that's as far as it goes. Any farther, I'm really looking too close. So it's really probably not the camera. I can't believe. the. It seems like that's that's a lowercase l instead of a capital L. But that's as, that's as close as I can get. So that's where they're most dominant, the In God We Trust, the Liberty, in the uh, 1912 date minting. <clears throat> okay. On the coins reverse, okay. I don't know the difference between obverse and reverse, but here we go. The central part of the face is filled with raised lettering, which reads United States of America. and one cent to either side of the central lettering or lettering are two wheat stalks of course arcing over the top of the reverse side is a latin phrase e right there y'all can read yep uh, right, that's what we're talking about okay and enough of that let's get into some of the history behind the coin so I believe this is Woodrow Wilson's year in the office and the Titanic ship sunk during this year also as well. I believe this is the year of cherry trees for Washington DC. This is the Summer Olympics year. Woodrow, Wil Woodrow Wilson wins US presidency in this year of 1912. That's what that's that's when we got that's so that's who was the president back then and the ballet the Balkan war was this year the night this is not the war of 1812 this is the war of 1912 the Balkan war in October 8th the war between Italy, Italy and the Ottoman Empire known as the Italy as Liberian war it is ended the Ottoman Empire is losing prestige and appearance of military strength Montegro sees opportunity and declares war against Turks. The First Balkan War begins. So yeah, this is the Titanic era, just like I said. 
it's the in this is the ending of the Edwardian era but I do have a Victorian era I would like to show you but I'm not gonna get to it it'll be probably sometime but by next year before I do a review on that because I got the coins in line of what's what's next and what's after that So usually in this year, I believe it's said that man, the way man dressed this year is they wore suits with matching waistcoats. Their trousers were ankle length once their cuffs were turned up. They were short gaiters and sprouts of shoes. The formal shirts were pressed into wigs and collars and they wore our group ties for formal occasions. Okay, let's get to a conclusion. I will be reading from <clears throat> from Acts chapter 2 verse 38 then Peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost Peter's Peter answers indicates three major components in converse conversion one must repent, in which means turning from sin to be baptized in the name of Jesus publicly declares our repentance and faith, plus it, symbol, it symbolically identifies us with the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. The Holy Ghost is given as a gift and seal of conver conversion, empowering the believer for the life of faith that is all for today. Thanks for thanks for watching and listening. Lakeview John out.